First off is this crazy, humongous, super heavy chemistry book. And I know that I am recording right now in photo booth, so it's not going to say chemistry all nicely. It's going to be all backwards, but whatever, deal with it. To buy that book is $200. Not going to happen. I was not about to spend $200 on a chemistry book. Thankfully, my bookstore just offered the option to rent your book. So that's what I did, but it was still $90. $90 just to rent a book. I'm going to give it back. Next, I had to buy this crazy chemistry lab manual, and it's just pretty much all the instructions for all the different labs that I do. This thing, $35. Goggles. Had to buy goggles for my chemistry lab. I saw it coming that I was going to have to buy goggles, but I didn't think that they would be this fancy. I don't know exactly how much the goggles themselves cost because I bought it along with this chem notebook that I had to buy. Sorry, I had to take off those goggles. They're just too ridiculous. Anyways, so I bought the goggles and this chemistry notebook together. For the goggles and that notebook, it was $26. Next, I had to pay $12 for the just basic lab fee. That was totally okay. I know that I'm using chemicals and other supplies. I think one of the hardest things for me to pay money for was for this thing called WebAssign. I had to pay $22 to do chemistry homework online. Is there no other way for me to do chemistry homework? I really have to pay $22 for it? Really? In total, I had to spend an extra $185 on chemistry lab supplies, I guess. That's just ridiculous. I don't spend that much for any of my other classes. I realize that chemistry isn't like every other class, and yeah, you're going to have to spend more money on certain things, but I definitely did not expect it to be $185 worth of extra things to buy.